Hello and welcome to more Splatoon! We gotta find stage 15 so we can get that last zap fish and go off to the boss fight. Also, I'm not going to forget to upgrade my gear this time. Let's go and actually upgrade it. I could max out my ink tank, but I think I'm gonna max out my... Let's go with the seekers. I know, wait, wait, let's go for the balloon bombs. Wait, what does that change? The blast radius. Blast radius increasing is pretty nice. I guess we'll upgrade that. We're gonna upgrade the balloons. Why not? Uh, we can also go for the hero shot, which would upgrade the fire rate, which is pretty good in itself. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna upgrade that instead. Actually, let's upgrade everything a little bit, because we have enough points to upgrade each thing once. So we'll do that. I feel like dumping points into the hero shot would probably fit my playstyle the best, because I find myself using mostly that, but... We don't have enough power eggs to keep upgrading stuff. Let's just look for stage 15. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Just looking for some invisible tea kettle crud. Uh, maybe down here? Oh, maybe it's inside this place. That's gotta be it. I'll keep looking for it. No, I really think we do have to go up here. So we go up this way, then we go up this way. And I think we might have to drop down here somehow to get inside there. I think that's the 15. So can I just jump right there? Oh, is that it? It is! All right, 15. Undeniable flying object. Is there another way we could have gotten in here that was more simple? Probably could have jumped over. Oh, we could have just walked in right there. Well, I made that way more complicated than it needed to be, but let's go inside. The last stage of Area 3, I think. I think this is Area 3. I don't know if they really keep track of what area you're on. But all right, we have another one of these little guys. I think he's going to go for the ink strikes. Looks like an Octo Striker Agent 3. So we've dealt with these before. All this means is that we basically have to not get smashed by the Octo Striker while it goes here. Go break some boxes, get some points. Ow, I've got hit by his grenade just a little bit. Let's go grab this checkpoint. Going to run away from the grenades, going to run away from everything. There's a box up there. I might want to check that out. That might be the scroll for the stage. Eh, come on. Oh, no, it's just some armor or something. Ow, 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 ow. Don't, no, no ink strikes. No ink, no, no grenades. This is, okay, we got him. This is just getting a little bit too stressful for me. Let's see, we got another guy right there. Okay, that was not the only ink striker, apparently. Unless that was not even an ink striker to begin with. I don't know. Break this box. Okay, we got some armor. Oh, jeez. Go ahead, drop your crud. Let's go take these guys up to the top here. Oh, oh made it sick. That is nothing. It's gonna break all the boxes I can find. Wow, they're giving us a lot of these briefcases. If they stop dropping crud on it, that'd be, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll get as many briefcases as I can find. Ow! Oh, die, monster! The nice thing about killing your opponents, this happens in multiplayer as well, is that once you kill them, they actually like explode and drop some of your colored ink. I don't know how physically that happens, like how do they have your colored ink to explode with, but however it works, it does. It, it's a good thing. Uh, Okay, perhaps the easiest scroll ever just sitting right next to a checkpoint for some reason. Well, that was easy. Let's just go through and get that ink striker at the end. Yeah, I don't, I don't think these guys are the ink strikers. These guys are just dropping little grenades and crud. Let's go up this way. Is that the guy? Nope, that is not the guy. We're just gonna keep looking for him. Oh, we'll probably take this. There we go, there's the guy. Oh, I got one shot on him before he uh, went to the cutscene here, but it looks like the ink that I shot on him already wore off. Okay, let's get, a, let's get across to the other side. Hit that geyser. Whoa! Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh! Hit that geyser as well. I guess the geysers are good just because they cover some more area. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go this way. We're gonna we're just gonna turn around here. Cover some more area. Let's get up near him. Come on. Oh, I got one shot on him. Come on, do better than that. Get more than just a couple shots. Oh, got him! Boom! I think the ink strike was just about to land on me too. But for doing that, looks like we got this place mostly covered in my color ink. Jump across, get that Zapfish! Number 15, the best stage in the game. We've only got 12 stages left, plus some bosses. I have been told the last boss is pretty long and could probably be an episode on its own. So we'll get to that when we get to that. But for now, we got this taken care of. Let's read the scroll and then go off and fight the boss. Undeniable flying object. This is the only existing photograph of the legendary Squid Beak Splatoon. The young man folding his arms appears to be the leader. When this picture was taken, the Great Turf War had been raging on for over a year. There appears to be a cat with a bow tie and overalls on. All right, then. Well, here is the big tea kettle. We can go fight the third boss in the game. I think there's only, like, two more bosses. We'll see. Let's go up to the boss kettle. Uh, I guess I'll take this wall. No, that wall probably won't work so well. Let's take this wall. That'll work better. Why is it, like, pointing a giant arrow? It's like, the boss is over there, you dweeb. Because we are definitely not capable of spotting where that is. Now, the tricky part is not knowing where it, where it is. It's actually getting to it. Well... Uh, can I go across this way? I think this is generally leading me... Nope. Nope. Ah, right. Maybe we should just take this wall right here. That would do it. So we take that, and then... 
Perhaps this one? Yeah, I think the I think the concrete walls you can spray, but the metal walls, not so much. So there we go. We're up to the bot. Oh, up there. I guess we can hit this as well. That'll give us an easy way to go down and up. So this is Roll with the Punches, the Rampaging Octo World. Boss number three. Well, the first two bosses were not too bad. The first boss in particular was quite easy. The second one, of course, it ramped it up a little bit, but it was still quite easy. So let's see how boss three does. Looks like we're about to fight some kind of giant ball. Maybe it's like a cloister or something? The Cloister of Trials. Or maybe not. This, is, this isn't Final Fantasy X. Oh no, the Zapfish! I just realized they're like inside giant light bulbs. Alright, yep, he is basically a giant spinning cloister. Using a rollout combo, I guess. Oh, look at those eyeballs. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Whoa, he's got the crazy tentacle tongue. Well, this guy's gonna go ham with his own ink, it seems. What if I use my Seekers? Will that actually do anything in this? Uh, probably not. All that's gonna do is waste all of my ink! Ah! What? Okay, okay, he bounces three times, I think, before he goes. He's just kind of freaking me out, dude. Okay, let's go get him. Come on. What are you doing? What is this crud? Which it... Okay, well he hit me. It didn't actually kill me though, which is good. I don't know how to actually hurt him is the problem here. I think we might have to shoot the little dingle dong on the top. Maybe we shoot the eyeballs? No, I... I don't know how to actually hurt this guy. Ow. He's just gonna keep hitting me, I guess. So this is kind of the big challenge is actually figuring out how to damage the enemy. Uh... Maybe it's the eyeballs. No, I, yep, I'm clueless. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I figured it out. All you have to do is make him roll into a pool of your own slime or your own ink. That's actually quite simple. So once he goes for the roll, we just gotta basically put some ink in front of him, let him run into it, and that's it. Kind of a confusing one, but I guess over time you just naturally figure it out by accident. So now that we got the, the plan figured out, oh, geez. Well, they're gonna make it a little bit harder to actually aim uh, where he's gonna go to. Because they're gonna start making it spin here. Let's just charge up our ink. And yeah, go for your speed cruds, man. I'm just gonna have this giant pool right here. Let's make him a big line. And there we go, we got him. That was just enough, so let's hit that tentacle for a second time. Kaboom! I'm guessing they're gonna make these uh, things spin even faster, making it much more difficult for the last hit here. Unless this is just a two hit boss, but probably not. Nope, he's up for round three. All right then, whoa! Can we not ink certain surfaces or something now? Is that what's going on? I'm guessing we, yeah, we cannot ink the the glass ones, it looks like. So I'm just gonna ink up this crud. Let's do what we can. Do what we can with what we got, right? That's the plan. So let's see if we can actually get him to land right here. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. Go get in this little ink spot. Oh, that was not enough. That was not enough. So we've got to do a lot better than that. All right, we'll keep trying. We'll just ink up everything that we can. Let's go ink up this side now. Ink it up, ink it up. We should probably ink up the middle platform. Oh, it's pretty inked, actually. Is he going for a charge? Oh, right here, right here. It's going to be perfect. Come on. Oh, almost. He got to the wrong side of it. Come on, man. Okay, one more try. We're going to get this. Got a little bit of purple ink to deal with right here, but honestly, we're in a pretty good spot. If he doesn't get inked right now, that's going to be ridiculous. Okay, come on. Get in there. There you go, buddy. Now he's got to go get it in time. Come on. Oh, got him. Three hits, I'm guessing that is boss defeated. I don't even know how it could get harder than that. All right, so that was actually a pretty tricky boss, but it really wasn't much de uh, uh, much concern of dying because he hit me like 10 different times and it just didn't actually hurt me. Or it, it hurt me, but it wasn't enough to kill me, so it's not that frightening, I guess. So let's grab the sunken scroll here first, and then we'll get the Zapfish. Oh, come here, Zapfish. I guess he can rebuild his own light bulb if you don't kill him fast enough. But there we go, we got him. Roll with the punches, the rampaging octo world, I guess it was. So we got this area completed. Hot dang, Agent 3, you're on fire. Oh gosh, can someone put this fire out? But I've got a bad feeling about, well, I'll just go take a quick look for myself. By the way, I've been meaning to introduce you to Agents 1 and 2. Once we're all assembled, I'll bake some Krabby Cakes. Cuttlefish? No. You? It can't be! <laughs> time to face the music, old timer. W -w 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 wait <laughs> I'm sorry, that was probably very loud. Stop! No! Scratch one, kettlefish. I'm sorry, my voice acting is terrible, I know. But hey, we killed something. Roll with the punches. 
Anti-Octopus Weapon Blueprints Designer, Amosis Schellendorf. Ammo Knights Booyah. Wait, have we already looked at that? Hold on. Uh, now, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to look at those, but hey, we got this giant tea kettle on top of a pillow taken care of. That's going to power up this electric thing right here. It's probably going to let us take another thing over to the next area. And I think this is going to be the last area in the game. I'm not 100% sure, uh, certain on that. Where's the thing? I think it was on this side. There it is. Let's go take it. Come here, mister. I'm going to shoot you. Hooray! So we'll go all the way over here. Oh, we've got to go over here, then take the fan. Look how crazy that area is. Let's shoot it with the fan here. Oh, where's it taking me? Oh, maybe we still have two more areas? I don't know. It looks like we're going here, but there's still that place up, up there. Unless this is just one giant area. Which it might be. I mean, I don't know. Okay, maybe there's still two more areas. So we had the starting area plus four more? I thought there was just four areas, but hey, maybe there's five. So let's see what stages we can unlock here. Oh, we got some stuff down there. Let's go check it out. Oh, it looks like we can actually build some platforms all over the place. So this is going to take us to one of the stages here. Oh, right here is going to be stage 16. Uh, there you go. So there's the first stage we'll do here. Let's just explore for a little bit. Go ahead and unlock some more stages and get some platforms built and all that. Okay. So I think there's going to be six stages since there is save six Zapfish. I mean, we, you have to save seven, but one of them is the boss, I guess. So you got to save six, then do the boss. And there, there you go. So we're just going to... Get this crud all linked up. What are these little things? I'm not sure what those are, or if we can actually ever deal with those. Oh, crud. Yep, if you go into a squid form on top of one of the grates, you're just going to fall right through. So you got to be careful with that. There's the large one. Uh, here's another stage. This is going to be stage number 20. Let's drop down through here. Get that guy. And get that one inked up as well. Oop. Let's go take this guy. This one's going to take us up to another thing we can fall inside. You know what? Let's just go take it. We'll get all these little uh, little platforms and everything built. We could also take this. I don't know where that's taking us, but I guess we could do that. Let's just unlock the stage here. So we have stage number 19. We could do that one. Well, let's go check out where this fan will take us. I guess it just takes us right to here. So nothing too fancy. So we've already got three stages unlocked here, but we have to get three more. So I don't know where they all are. There's nothing right there. Can we drop down? Oh, there's one. So that's going to be stage number 21. So we're going 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So that's going to be the last stage we do here. Uh, what's next? I guess what I'm probably going to do for today, guys, is just get all these stages unlocked, and we'll come back next time and actually do them. So we'll probably beat this next area with just two episodes. I'm not going to take three episodes again. We got that. I'm thinking there's going to be one more up here as well. Uh, yep, there's one, and that is stage 17, so we'll do that one next episode. Let's get this guy built up. Another one. Nope, no other ones. Hmm. So we have... Four, we have five uncovered, so there's just one more to uncover. Not exactly sure where it is. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere! It's probably up there, though, I'm thinking. So let me go check. Aha, there it is, right there. So there is stage 18, or whichever number that one was. It was 18. Okay, so guys, we'll come back next time. We'll do stages 16, 17, and 18. I guess we'll make some good progress towards beating this area as well. So I will see you all then. Take care.